हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाई स्पार्क ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द डेटा टाइप्स व्हाट आर द अवेलेबल डेटा टाइप्स इनसाइड द पाई स्पार्क सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंपैरेटिवली इनसाइड द सीक्वल एंड द पाई स्पार्क सो द डेटा टाइप एज वी हैव सीन इनसाइड द सीक्वल सर्वर that is the integer so we are defining the integer as int but inside the pyspark so data types are very similar but the representation is little bit different so whenever we are going to declare the data type for any variable or any particular column then we have to use the integer type so the declaration that should be complete integer with the type so this is inside the pyspark similarly for the big int inside the sql we are simply specifying big int but inside the pi spark we have to specify as long type so this long type is used for the long integer values next for the float and double we have this like the floating values and for the double so here we can specify the precision floating values similarly inside the pi spark we have the float type and the double type so simply we can only add the type at the last of the data type so inside the sql we have the double so here double type we have the float so float type we have the big int so here long type and for the integer we have integer type next for the char so char and where char so these two is used for the string data type so for these two we are having only a single data type that is the string type so this string type will be handling for the char and where char both the data types next for the date and time stamp so the date data type will be going to represent as date type inside the pi spark that you can see and for the time stamp it is going to represent as time stamp type so we can simply say we can only remember the data type for the integer and long so except these two data types rest all the data types whatever we have seen inside the sql simply add the type at the last and the data type will be ready for the pi spark but for the integer inside the sql that is int but in the pi spark that is complete integer type then the big int so that is long type so these two you have to remember and the next one is the string except these three remaining you can add only type so by next videos we will be seeing how we can use this in practical thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video